Hey yo, Johnny B here, and uh, I just got this message in Slack from one of my friends uh, sending me this. We're always clashing about which is better, SwiftUI or UIKit, and I've been coding in SwiftUI uh, not for that long, probably around eight months or so, um, and I still <laughs> struggle with some of the things that I knew how to easily do in UIKit. Anyway, so he sent me this, and I I got very curious. I was like, hey, you know what? How long uh, how long would this take me? So uh, it's uh, currently 4:18 a.m. Uh, if you're wondering why I am starting this at 4:18 a.m., it's because well, uh, my my uh, six year old came and woke me up, and now I'm awake. And I looked on Slack and saw this. And uh, yeah, I just uh, decided to give it a go right now. All right, so taking a look at this, I mean, it looks pretty, it looks nice, um, but I don't know, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'm being overly optimistic, uh, but uh, I mean, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna open up Xcode and start out with a brand new project. All right, we're gonna call this UIKit versus SwiftUI. We've selected storyboard for our interface, UIKit app delegate, and we're gonna say next, and we're gonna start the clock. 4.20 a.m., let's do this. Round one, fight. All right, so most of this video is going to uh, just be a time lapse, um, but I'll stop briefly in some place and discuss what I'm doing. Um, I think first of all, what I'm gonna do is just uh, save this image to downloads. All right, and just kind of think about how I'm going to lay this out. So it doesn't look like this is in the actual navigation header. I mean, it could be, um, but it looks like this is just a single view up here. So I'm going to make this a stack view. Um, this on the left and then another one over here. And below that we have um, possibly just a, a single layer. And then here looks like we have another view. I'm going to make this another stack view. We got two buttons here and here. Now, he doesn't post any sort of uh, GIFs or videos, so I don't know um, how animated or interactive this is. This could very well be just a view with no actual interactivity. I don't know. Um, but uh, we're going to just kind of take this as far as we can go and I don't know, maybe he'll respond and show uh, that it's a full-fledged functioning app that he uh, built out in two hours or if it is indeed just the views. So this will be another view and uh, we'll probably break this out as, let's see here, maybe, maybe this will be one stack view, well, one horizontal stack view and then a vertical stack view and then this guy here and then down here we'll have a stack a whole stack view one label and then probably one stack view here horizontal stack view for the bar graphs and then another one here for the days and then one more here and again you'll see that i'm already uh spending time explaining what i'm going to do. Um, so take that into consideration when we see how long this takes me. The only thing that I'm uh, kind of thinking about will take long are these graphs, possibly. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take full advantage of the longevity of UIKit and leverage any sort of uh, third-party libraries or dependencies because I think that is fair. So yeah, um, again, also, you know, <laughs> we're not gonna be, since this is kind of a speed test, we're not gonna be judging my code too much, all right? All right, so let's uh, let's do this. First off, let's just uh, kind of start here at the top and we're gonna just make our way down. Let's do this.
All right, so it's been about 21 minutes and I have a very rough um, uh, mock-up of how I'm going to move forward. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, now it's just kind of getting my constraints and uh, everything else looking a lot cleaner. So uh, let's do it. So you know what, I am going to do this part, I think programmatically, programmatically adding them to a stack view. So we're gonna do that in code. I'm just gonna leave this guy here as a placeholder for now. All right, so uh, let's see here, looking at around uh, 37 minutes and we've got most of our constraints and our styling done. Um, only thing missing really is that circle graph here on the right, but we'll get to that. All right, so now I'm gonna start hooking things up to my view controller and do some more styling, mostly these rounded buttons. And probably, or I mean, definitely could uh, make a custom class for that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick and dirty and um, set those corner radii in code. Okay, looking good. All right, so we are still at less than an hour. And I don't know, I think uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Obviously the tough part um, is gonna be these graphs still. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, and we are interactive-ish here. We have uh, all these guys going on. Cool. No idea what this is gonna look like. Ooh, there they are right there. Very nice.
the next thing that I want to do, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and take these dates and throw those inside as well. Let's randomize those uh, these heights here. Hey yo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so we are looking at uh, pretty good. All right, so I think this is looking pretty dang good. Last thing for us to add is this guy here. Now, the question is, do I want to do that programmatically or take a look at some of our available third-party tools? Alright, so we are at, uh, let's see here, an hour and 48 minutes. And some of that I've been talking to you. Um, that's the entire record time so far. And let's see here. I think we are looking pretty dang good. A um, couple things I would want to clean up. A little bit um, let's, uh, let's just do that real quick I think this spacing is a little cramped here so let's give that a little bit more space to breathe let's see here that's our stack view here give uh, the, that a little bit of a boost so 
Yeah. I mean, looks pretty darn good to me. And that was in less than two hours. So there you have it. And uh, what is that you may be asking? I'm, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is UIKit is not dead. It is extremely powerful and will be relevant for a long time. And if you're a new developer looking to break into the industry, you're going to need it. So SwiftUI is also great and will only get better. It is the future. But, uh, you know, maybe you need both. But hey, if you like what you see and want to learn more UI kit from me and other uh, programming topics, please consider liking and subscribing. I also have some courses you can check out in the description below. See you all in the next one.